Oh, darling, I never thought I'd be this late. I am sorry. You shouldn't have stayed up. Where have you been? Daddy gone to bed. Yes, his own bed, downstairs in the study. You had supper? He waited until half past nine. What about you? Oh, I got something at the hospital. Is there any coffee left in that pot? Shouldn't think so. It'll be cold anyway. Do you want me to make some more? No, it's all right. I met Major Kiley coming out of the hospital. We had a drink together. Yes. I take it you disapprove. It's nothing to do with me. No. Just hope you weren't seen by anybody in the village, that's all. What on earth do you mean? Squire's wife and the American major. The gossips would have a field day. Oh, don't be absurd. I'm just warning you, that's all. Now I might as well go to bed. Now look here, Patty. You I want to know what sorry happened? Sorry for Daddy. Kept delaying the meal and putting it off a little longer and a little longer, just in case you came back. Yes, well, I'll go and talk to him before I go to bed. Yes, I should. Tell him you met Jim Kiley and just had to have a drink with him. Pat, you are being incredibly offhand. It's the truth, isn't it? Yes, it is. It seems to be pretty common around here these days. Most of the girls in the village have American boyfriends. Sit down, Pat. Are you an early call tomorrow? Or shall we see you at breakfast? I want to talk to you. Do you mind if we do it some other time, Mummy? I'm rather tired. Sleep well. Stan? Stan? Go and put your dressing gown on. Billy's crying. Yes, all right. Tell him that we're coming. He's hungry. Yes, all right. And he's wet. Daddy had to go back to the army, bed. Very early, first thing. He, he sends his love. Is he coming back? No. Tomorrow? No. No, not tomorrow. Come on, Bet. You give me a hand and clean up all this mess. Uncle Joe be coming back now. Oh, Mac, I was too damn steep coming in. Oh, it happens, even to the good guys. Forget it. Look, forget it, eh? I know, I just can't seem to shake it. See the new intake? No. Came in this morning with a bunch of kids, real yard birds. Where'd they find them? I don't know, grade school, I guess. One of them looked like he was just out of short pants. They'll shape up. They better had. We were all kind of raw when we first started. Yeah. Still seen the dame lose down by the pond? Nope. What happened? Her husband came back. I thought he was dead. So did I. I'm Billy Calvero. They told me to find a bed in here. Elmer Jones? Hey, well, I'm Captain Burwash's crew, so maybe we'll be together. Hey, what happened to your hand? Oh, burned it. <laughs> Tough break, pal. Boy, I'm sure as hell glad I got into this group. You are? 
Oh, yeah. It's one of the best. I heard about this Major Kylie back in the States. He sounds like he's really something. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, you know, Sergeant, I wouldn't take that bet if I were you. Why not? Is there something wrong with it? The locker was empty, so I figured I'd just... The guy who had it before. We don't know what happened to him. I don't get it. We bailed out. Over Belgium on the last trip. Chuck Erickson got married the day before. So I reckon you'd be happier someplace else. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't know. Hey, can you tell me which one I should take? One down the other, or you could grab this one here. Who had this one, then? A guy by the name of Mario Batone. Uh-huh. And, uh, what? He's dead. Gee, thanks. Sergeant Colvero. Sir! Good to see you back, Elmer. How's the hand? Yeah, it's okay. Can you fire a gun? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Good. You gotta help me get a new crew together. You and Sergeant Stutzy. Jaime? He's with us now? Yeah. How do you use Colbro? They tell me you're a tail gunner. Yes, sir. Training? Three months, tend to field Florida, sir. Whew, an old hand, huh? Well, get this. My name's Burwash, and it just so happens I happen to have the best goddamn crew in the group. Gotten used to it, and I like it like that. So if you're gonna fly with me, you gotta be good. And I mean good. Got it? Yeah. Sir. Telegun's the most important defensive position on the entire ship. It's also the most dangerous. So if you foul up once, I might manage to forget about it. Then again, I might not. If you foul up twice, you're out. Okay? Yes, sir. Good. Well, one last thing. Don't let Almer here fool you. He may look sleepy, but he's the best gunner you'll ever fly with. Yes, sir. See you later, Colbro. Hey, do you think you like me? I wouldn't bet on it. Hello, Dr. Durham. Oh, yes, hello, Jack. Yes, how is she? Well, it's hardly surprising. She's had a very bad shock. She won't see anyone? Well, well would she see me, do you th Well, look, you can't force her. <laughs> she needs time. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll try and pop in and on my way home tonight. Yes, well, I'm, I'm very fond of Vi, but I shouldn't bang. All right. Right, well, I'll, I'll be around then. Goodbye. On duty. I know. Just wanted to look at you. And apologize for the damn jeep breaking down the other night. A nice try. I made you so late. Didn't matter. Take you away somewhere. Shh. You know I can't. If I could get a few days. Yes, Dr. Durham. Oh, yes. Yes, sister. I'm sorry. How are things? How's it all going? All right. And the new land girl sitting in? Yes. It's usual that working too hard and tiring themselves too quickly. Well, of course. They're not used to it. Daddy, I want to talk to you. Yes. Uh, I, I do understand how you feel. Now, assuming they give you a clean bill of health at the next checkup, I'll, uh, I'll try and put a few strings. Hmm? We'll have you in uniform before you can say Jack Robinson. Daddy, you're going to hate me for telling you this. Tell me what. Mother. She's seeing Major Kiley. Yes, I know. 
You know? Have you spoken to her about it? No. Nor do I intend to. Well, why? I don't understand. Darling, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but this is something between your mother and me. It really isn't any of your business. You're not going to do anything about it? I love your mother, Pat. Very much. I think she loves me. I know she wouldn't willingly do anything to hurt us. She's going through a difficult time at the moment, and we must... We must try to understand and be patient. I'd really, we'd rather we didn't talk about this again. Daddy. And I want you to promise me that you won't mention this to your mother. I don't see why I, she I should... want your promise, Pat. It's the only way if we're ever to get her back. Hey, well, that's what you want. Yes, that's what I want. Hello, Vi. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I asked Mrs. Durham to come and see you, love. Oh, I'm perfectly all right. I'm not ill. Of course you're not. I haven't come to see you as a doctor. Well, you haven't heard anything, have you, about Chuck? I'm afraid not. But they'll let us know from the base as soon as there's any news. Major Kylie made that quite clear. He came to see us when it happened, you know, the same day. Oh, he's not dead. I know he's not dead. We're probably going to hear very soon. Pat wants to know when you're coming back, Vi. So much to do at this time of the year. We need you. Sometimes they get taken prisoner, don't they? Uh, Mrs. Derham was asking when you think you'll be able to come back on the farm. And I wouldn't mind that, just as long as he's alive. I never did get that day at the seaside. I kept telling Chuck not to make promises. It's unlucky. Vi, listen to me. What you do on the farm is just as important as what I do at the hospital or as what Rosie does at the factory. I can't. Yes, you can. I'm going to come round and see you again in a day or two. And I expect to see you up and about. I mean, she's always been a fighter. It's not like her just to give up. Oh, I'm sure she hasn't given up. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Mrs. Derham. Oh, while you're here, would you like a drink? No, I... I think I'd better be getting back. Right. She's had a bad knock. It's taken the wind out of her. But you keep telling her that she's needed. Stress how important it is for you. Need her for work. I'm sure she'll come round. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Derham. Good night. That Dane looks too good to be a doctor. Do you think Chuck's all right? Truth is, we don't know, Rosie. Anything could have happened. <laughs> Will they give you another plane now, Captain Burwash? Well, if I'm a good boy, another B-17, another crew. Oh, but Elmer will still be with you, won't he? Oh, well, he'd better be. You go and get your supper, Rosie. I'll take it over here. Oh, I'm all right, Dad. Now, uh, run along, Rosie. Good night, then. <laughs> That's a good girl you got there, Jack. Well, they're both good girls. Still think you're right to let Vi get married, Jack? Yes, I do. Okay, so what if Rosie there comes to you next week and says she wants to marry Elmer or any one of them? Would you let her? Fair question, Jack. No, next week is next week. Sufficient unto the day. Let them all get married and we'll have a whole town full of widows. I've got a fair question for you, Mac. About Stan. I just hate to see Vi hurting the way she is, Jack. Lay off, Red. Stan Bilton? Yes. Well, what's the question, Jack? <laughs> well, did you know that he was seen this morning catching the early bus to Ipswich? No, I didn't. So what? So he had his uniform on, his kit bag, all his gear, and the suitcase. If you're interested.
Peter and Till gonna be there? Yep. Well, you're lucky. It's about the easiest trip we had. One will be like that. I hope not. I want to see some action. Oh, stick around, kid. There'll be plenty. Sergeant Cobra. Colbero, sir. Get your ass over here fast. How'd you like your first mission, kid? I like just fine. Thank you, sir. Well, sorry we didn't run any fighters for you. Try and do better for you next time. That's okay, Captain. What's that you got there? That's my flak jacket, sir. Just take it off, did you? Yeah, I guess so. You were wearing it during the mission, weren't you? Weren't you? No, I guess not. You goddamn little fool. What the hell do you think we're doing up there? That's no high school picnic we're going up there for. If you'd run into some fighters, you'd be praying. You want to stay with this group, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir. Well, get this. You wear that jacket at all times, and I mean all times, during a mission. And just to help you remember, if I so much as hear that you've taken that jacket off at any time in the next two days, I'll have you transferred out of this group so fast you won't know what's happened to you. Am I making myself clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Even in bed? In bed? In the John, Colvero. And make it a week. Thank you, sir. He's a nice guy when get low. Some of the new boys are pretty raw, Jim. We need more time to train them. Well, there's no way, Roof. These green horns will just have to learn on the job. They're not shaving up too badly. Red bear wash. Bear wash. Has he gotten over the loss of his plane yet? Mm. He's okay now. Reds are tough as they come. You don't have to worry about him. I worry about them all. I even worry about you. Dude. Me? Yeah, yeah. When was the last time you took a couple of days off? All the men I've ever worked with needed days off. What makes you so different? Well, Major? Well, I guess I could use a weekend pass. Good. Make it soon, huh? You sure. Look, I know who runs things around here. And I don't kid myself just because I'm the colonel. I'm doing all the work. But I think I could manage for a couple of days on my own without fouling things up. What do you say? Colonel? You got yourself a job. Major Kiley. Oh, good afternoon, sister. We don't have any of your men still with us, do we, Major? Uh, no. No, I, I believe not. Oh, I... Major. Oh, Dr. Darham. I'm so glad you could make it. I wanted to talk to the Major for a moment. Uh, there's a meeting next week of the hospital's liaison committee. They're worried that we're taking too many of the casualties from the base. Wouldn't you say we were managing perfectly well, Doctor? Yes, well, I think that that's the problem. Some of the other hospitals in the area want to do their bit, too. That'll be all, sister. Thank you. That sounded pretty good. Is it true? True enough. I wasn't expecting you. Oh, what are you laughing at? Your face just now. <laughs> For a moment there, I couldn't think of a single reason why I was visiting the hospital at 4.30 in the afternoon. Oh, I think sister knows anyway. She's nobody's fool. There's something I wanted to ask you. Yes. Rufus has ordered me to take the weekend off. Can you get away? I've got a meeting this weekend in Norwich. Can you get out of it? Well, I suppose I could. You could take a car, get away to the sea. You want to, don't you? Oh, yes.
wait outside. I heard Stan's gone. Yes. Back to the army? Back to his mum's. Ruby, then back to the army, I suppose. This time he's gone for good. That for me? Mm. Yes. What does not matter? What does it say? <laughs> You're here now. Do you want to sit down? Okay. Kids all right? What happened? Saturday night. Saturday night he got drunk. Very drunk. Deliberate. We've been building up to it ever since he got home the first day. He tried to get me drunk too. Why? Can't you guess? I was his wife, he said, and it was my duty. Mac, I, I couldn't. I told him I couldn't, wouldn't. He called me everything he could think of. Then, in, in the morning, he was gone. He cleared his things out before me and the kids were awake. I never want to see you or the kids again as long as I live. Sal, I made a promise. You can see what he says. He won't come back. How do we know? How do we really know? Don't you understand? If I break my promise to Stan, he'll have a right to break his promise to me. A deal's a deal. Deal? Well, that night after the fight, I promised Stan I wouldn't come back here. If he promised me, he wouldn't hurt you. I gotta go. You know how I feel about you. But I promised Stan. Got it in Ipswich. Ripley's. 34 and 11. What do you think? How many coupons? Four. Rosie. Oh, it's very nice and it suits you. I couldn't resist it. Don't tell Dad. You coming down later? You can manage without me, can't you? Well, yeah. I just thought it... You're going to have to face people one day, you know. I know. Everyone's asking after you. I saw Letty today. You know the one she was going out with? Mario. Yeah, he was killed on the same rail. Yes. Is she all right? Well, she's helping out in the shop now, so I suppose she must be. I wish there was something I could do. I've got a visitor for you, Vi. Captain Bush. Uh, Rosie, we're very busy downstairs. Give us a hand. Yes, Dad. Like your blouse, Rosie. Is it new? Yeah. No. Well, almost. It's real pretty. Come along, Rosie. I'm just coming. Shall we see you later, Captain Bowash? I hope so. Well, good night for now, then. It's very nice of you to come. I didn't want to come and see you. Figured it would just be a waste of time. 
The way you're acting now, all you're doing is proving all I ever said about our guys marrying English girls is the goddamn truth. I'm sorry. Well, I've always been against it. You knew that. Go out with them, do what the hell you like with them, but don't let them fall in love with you and don't marry them. That's the way I see it. Well, in that case, what the hell what am I, I doing here? When your pa told me that after what happened to Chuck, you were standing in your room and wouldn't come out, you know what I said? That's what happens if you get involved. And I went back to base feeling pretty pleased with myself. Then I got to thinking how Chuck had always said maybe that was true about most girls. But you were different. You were something special. Whatever happened to him, you wouldn't give up. They do him proud. And you know, for some crazy reason, I hope like hell you would, because he was worth it. How about that? You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to go downstairs and ask your father to set me up a couple of drinks. One for you and one for me. And I'm going to wait downstairs in that bar until you come down if it takes all night. Wouldn't stand me up, would you, buy? I suppose fog or mist only makes things worse. I'm sure. Sometimes it's pretty difficult knowing where you are. A few days ago, a couple of our guys landed over at Nettishaw. They swear they didn't know they were in the wrong place till they got to the debriefing room. I suppose one <laughs> airfield looks much like another from up there. Yeah. Same thing happened to me. Bye-bye. Drink's got your name on it. Thank you, Captain Burwood. Hello, darling. You're home early. Oh, there wasn't much on. The others can cope. See the paper? Tenth Corps entered Naples yesterday under Dick McCreary. Don't you want to go in? It's getting rather cold. No, no, not yet. No, this is a good spot. You get the last of the sun. Oh. Hey. Nice to see you. It's not often we get a chance to uh, sit and talk. I always seem to be busy these days. I'm sorry. Oh, darling, don't be. You're doing valuable work. If it means I can't see as much of you as I'd like, that's a small sacrifice to make. You're very understanding. Am I? I hardly know what's going on at the farm anymore. Is Pat managing all right with Vi away? Oh, yes. She's, um, holding the fort. She seems preoccupied. Withdrawn somehow. Oh. Really? I hadn't noticed. Oh, perhaps it's just me. My imagination, after all, you see how much more than I do. Yes. I wish she had some friends of her own age. She hardly ever goes out. Darling, she's not the sort that likes going to parties. There's no harm in that. That's not what I meant. She's all right. Leave her alone. Oh, I wasn't going to have a confrontation. Or should I? Should we? Look at the way the sun catches those leaves. Yes. Beautiful. It's always been my favorite time of the year. The autumn. You're away this weekend, aren't you? Yes, I've got that meeting in Norwich. I could get out of it. No, no, you go. There's Pat. Here you are. I was wondering where you've got to. I've just had a phone call from Vi. She's coming back on Monday. Oh, oh I am glad. Good, good. She's, um, she's feeling all right now, then. 
Well, apparently. It's too cold out here. Mm. I'll take you in. Well, you finally finished lifting the beat, which is a mercy. Mm. Now we've got to start carting it tomorrow. I hate that. It goes on forever. How long you gotta wear that? Four more days. Take it off when you're in here. Are you kidding? You won't tell. No. If he found out, I'd be out of the crew like that. Why don't you come into town tonight? In this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too bad. Where are you from, Billy? New York City. Oh, yeah? How about that? Guy had this bed before. Mario, he was from New York. Oh, yeah? Hey, what'd you do? Oh, you know, lots of things. Uh -huh. Like like what? Oh, I had a few jobs. I uh, worked in a soda fountain for a while. A soda jerk? Hey, me too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I thought it'd be real easy, but they had me running around that place. Hey, where'd you say it was? What? The soda fountain. The soda fountain where you work. Oh, uh... Corner 7th Avenue and uh, 34th Street. Oh, yeah. Nice place. Yeah. Hey, Calvero. Yeah, here. Captain Burwash wants to see you in the debriefing room. He says to make it fast. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm coming. What do you think, Elmer? Oh, Skip will tell him to take his black jacket off. What else? You know something? What? He's a pretty funny guy, that Colbert. I like him. Well, me too. Only it didn't work in no soda fountain on the corner of 7th Avenue and 34th Street. Why not? Because there ain't no soda fountain on the corner of 7th Avenue and 34th Street. That's why not. Maybe he got the street wrong. Mm, maybe. Something funny about him all the same. Reminds me of home, a summer place on Cape Cod, just like this. You get home, Zip? Sometimes. Places more than people. I don't miss the kind of life I had. I've forgotten how much I've missed the sea. I used to take Pat every summer to Cornwall, which is a little... Careful. Sometimes I thank God for the war. I'd have gone on pulling around forever if I hadn't enlisted. Oh, I don't suppose you would have. Well, you didn't know me then. Wouldn't have liked me very much. Ever read The Great Gatsby? I always thought Gatsby was rather a romantic figure. Well, not in real life. <laughs> Ducks and drakes. We used to play that. It's getting cold. My brother and I, when we were little. Shall we go back? Yes. Yes. God, you're beautiful. When I look at your eyes, everything seems to make sense. I feel as if I've been running around in circles, looking for something I wasn't even sure existed. Sound crazy? I love you.
talk to the guy down at personnel. He says there ain't nothing about what he did before he enlisted. But, I mean, there's loads of guys never had a steady job. You know what I think? I think he's in trouble with the cops. Uh, where'd you get that stupid idea? Listen, whenever we get to talking about things back home, he just clams up on me like he was hiding something. You reckon he's some kind of criminal? Well, suppose the guy's a part of a dope ring. Or maybe he's a jewel thief. Yeah, or, or a cat burglar. Yeah. Hey. How about a hitman for the mafia? Yeah, hey, well, I suppose he... Okay, wise guy. But there's something funny about him all the same, and I'd sure as hell like to know what it is. Hey, Yeah, I just seen the skipper. Oh, boy, do I feel good. Well, if it's all right, I'd like to start straight away, this afternoon. All right, I should say so, I yes, but... man from the Agricultural Committee was here earlier. Did oh. he find you? Hello, Mike. Yes, Hello. it appears he wants us to plough the seven-acre. I don't much like the idea of that. The fish is a little toad. Well, that field's been a paddock for as long as I can remember. Hmm? Still, it's not all gloom. Bye's come back to us. Good. And she wants to start this afternoon. Right. Well, we're still cutting sugar beet, my least favourite job. It's lunch in the kitchen. Hmm. Yeah, if I can have a bite with us and then you can take her out. Right. Oh, I want to snoop into the village later. I hear Albert Mundy's got some hair grips. Oh, I'm fine. What did you tell him? Oh, I said uh, I'd think about it. I'm not making any decisions before I've spoken to your mother. Why? She hasn't been near the farm in months. I shouldn't think she cares one way or the other. I'm starving. It's been uh, rather a strain for Pat managing on her own. She'd be glad to have you back. Well, come on, let's see what Nanny's managed to find for lunch, shall we? Whoops. Uh. All right? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Mummy! All right. Mummy! Betty, for goodness sake, keep your voice down. It's Uncle Joe! What? Only Uncle Joe knocks like that. Betty? Be Betty, you, you better go upstairs and keep an eye on William. Betty, upstairs. I couldn't keep away, Sal. Not again. Oh, Mac. I don't know what we're going to do about Stan. Mac, don't you understand? He doesn't want me. Not anymore. Well, all I know is I want you. Uncle Joe! Uncle Joe! Hello, princess! Oh! Hey, now, watch out. You're going to strangle me to death. <laughs> you want to wait, then? Yes, I think we'll give her half an hour or so. I shouldn't even think she's at the hospital. She's probably out somewhere with Major Kylie. Pat, please. Why are you getting angry with me? Because I tell you the truth. You never get angry with her. No, that is not true. We've hardly seen her this week. She says it's because she's busy caring for the sick. Well, why can't she now stay that's enough. I won't have you talk like that about your mother. If you can't control your tongue, then shut up. All right, I'll shut up. The only person I care about this whole wretched business is you. All I do is make you angry. Oh, Pat, please. I don't think I'll wait, if you don't mind. I can't bear to see you hurt like that. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll see you later. Sorry to disturb you, sir. There's a lady asking to see you. A lady? Yes, sir. A Miss Derham. She said you'd want to see her. Oh, Miss Derham? Yes, sir. Okay, Sergeant, bring her in. Miss Derham, sir. Hello, Pat. Oh, thank you, Sergeant. Sit down for a minute. I know I shouldn't have come. As a matter of fact, I didn't think you'd be here. I was trying to prove something. Prove what? Doesn't matter. I expect you know what I've come about. No, I don't. You're having an affair with my mother, aren't you? 
Now, just a minute. Please don't deny it. I've spoken to her about it. Does Helen know you're here? No, but we've talked. I want you to stop seeing her. It isn't fair on my father. I know he behaves as if nothing Pat. was happening, but he knows. Pat, Can you imagine what it's on. like from sitting there in his chair? Will you chair, listen to me for a minute? The first thing you have to understand is that I love your mother. I'm not just fooling around. I didn't think you were. There's something else which is just as important. I believe your mother loves me. It's not something either of us wanted to happen. But there's no point in pretending. It won't just go away. Even if we wanted it to. Pat, I'm sorry about that. These things happen. You just gotta be grown up about it and try to understand. I can't promise to stop seeing Helen. I don't think I could keep my promise even if I did. Don't treat me like a child. I didn't mean to. Why, Jim? It's so unfair. I think I'd better go. Should I come with you? No, I'm all right. I shouldn't have come here. You must think I'm a real pain in the ass. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Just can't help it. I don't know what to do anymore. I'll uh, shove off then. I'm sorry, Jim. For what? Take care of yourself. Honey, come in, Miss Patricia. Major Kylie brought me home in his jeep. Oh well, come in, come in, son. Mind the black eye. Well, Pat, I really have to get back. We'll have that man Monday reporting us. Who is it, Nanny? It's Miss Patricia and Major Kylie. Ask him to come in. Come in, come in, sir. Quick. Quick, quick. Uh, this way. Oh, your supper is on the kitchen table, Miss Patricia. In here, Major. Major Kylie. Thank you, Nanny. Nanny will take care of Pat. Thank you for bringing her home. I was glad to. Will you have a drink? We still seem to have some whiskey here. Helen's gone to bed. She uh, She's on early call tomorrow. Yes. Thanks. I suppose Pat tried to see you at the base. That's right. Yes, I'm sorry about that. She was rather upset earlier on. She shouldn't have involved you. I'm involved anyway, Major. Yes, I dare say. Do you think it would do any good to talk about that? I've known about that for some time. You've... No, 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 not from Helen. Might have been better if she and I could have talked it over, but I... I find that kind of thing rather difficult. Major no, Darum, I want please you don't me. say anything, old man. I, uh... <laughs> can't say I'm very happy about this, but, uh... The most important thing is that Helen should be, do you see? And what I'm trying to say is uh, that I, I won't stand in the way. I'll give Helen a freedom. If that's what she wants.
So? I, I don't think there's uh, very much more to say, is there? Okay, Major, you win. I won't see her again. I'll get the hell out, transfer to another group. Do me a favor, don't tell her we talk like this. Oh, no, of course not. But are you sure that this is... No, I'll, I'll, I'll write to her. Make up some excuse. Your wife's a fine woman. But I guess you don't need me to tell you that. Good night, Major.